Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and welcome back to day six of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches series seven. So today our sketch is from Page Maps and it was chosen by Lena, um, who was one of the November winners. So what Christie did was she posted some challenges in the Facebook group and a couple of the wonderful um, people from the Facebook group were able to pick the sketches for us this month, which is super exciting. So this one um, is another page maps, which um, we absolutely love. So thank you, Lena, for choosing a wonderful sketch. So I dug deep in my stash, and I think this was one of like the mini kits that I bought from Redefine Creative. So it is, um, the papers are from Studio 45, I believe. And the embellishments are from uh, Rosie Studios. The collection was Stillwater. So let's see, the, the background paper with the feathers and the kind of corally paper are from Studio 54. Now that blue paper that I am trimming down right now is actually from Indigo and Ivy paper pad. Um, so that was, or project pad, I guess that's what it's called, um, was an awesome project pad that my friend Sharon got me. So that blue is from there. And then um, I need one extra piece of paper. So I am going to pull in this Heidi Swap. I think it is called Magnolia Jane. So I only have the paper pad, the six by eight paper pad from this collection, which is gorgeous. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. So I am pulling this gray and white um, it kind of looks like tile to me, um, probably because we work in flooring. I don't know. <laughs> that would be my guess. Um, but it looks like a tile floor to me. So um, I add the doily where there's a doily in the sketch. And then I am going to start embellishing. So I am using the Fallen For You sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And that had that love word. Um, which is a wood veneer uh, in the sequins, which is super cool. I love when Jody adds little bits and pieces, um, like little additions. So that wood veneer piece is from there. And then those hearts are also from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And they are called Crazy for Love. Um, and they're hearts and they're awesome. So I'm going to add a couple in the upper left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner so it's kind of looking like a diagonal design at this point um my photos kind of go in a diagonal which is kind of funny because when you look at the sketch it seems very very linear and i have totally made it diagonal and that's okay so from the die cut pack, I am going to add a couple of florals. Um, and I do go ahead and decide to add this super cute flamingo. I just thought it was funny um, with a house because we we're at my aunt's house. Um, and then I am adding a tag. It says, you make my heart smile. And... Um, both of these make my heart smile. So it's my daughter and my husband and they're just hanging out in the pool looking at me and I'm taking pictures and Julianne is trying to give him a kiss and he's being funny like, oh, I don't want a kiss, which um, let's be honest, everybody wants a kiss from um, their little girl, but he was being funny and so I took the picture and guess what? You be funny. When I have my phone in hand, they're going to be scrapbooked. Like, that's just the way it is. So,
So I decide to put the word together at the bottom and that I think is going to be my title. I add a couple of other pieces from the die cut pack. Um, one piece that says love beyond words. One says I love you. One says is the best place. So I went ahead and put that under the wood, the love, sorry, wood veneer love. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so it says love is the best place. And then I add a circular piece up at the top and it says cherish this moment because these moments, um, it's a very small time that we have our children. Of course, it doesn't feel that way when they're like two and three, but now that they're 12 and 16, it's going by very, very fast. So I feel like I need to capture all of the moments I can. So right now, what I am doing, and this is super fun, and I would highly encourage you to do this, is so these wood veneer hearts from Spiegel Mom Scraps are open in the center. And one of them fit perfectly over that open section of the heart in the tag. So I put the wood veneer on and then I filled it with the sequins from the Fallen For You sequin pack. And then in order for them not to come out, I went ahead and added some more Nouveau Deluxe adhesive on top of it. Um, and it worked perfect. It worked just like glossy accents and I didn't have to leave the house because um, I was scrapping with my bestie Amber to go out to the shed to grab those, um, that glossy accents. It worked perfect. It dried clear. You see all of the beautiful sequins in that wood veneer heart. So I would highly encourage you that if you have a raised up, um, embellishment of some sort that has an open space to fill it with some sequins. So I'm just going to scatter a few other ones and that's going to do it. So that is my layout for today. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, in the description box, you will find everybody who is playing along that I know about. Um, so make sure you check all of them out and see what their take is on today's sketch. Um, here are the close-ups. And that's going to do it for me, guys. So remember to wear your crown, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.